We've decided that this built-in around our fridge needs a refresh. We're going to be adding some trim, a fresh coat of paint, and some partitions up on top. I've got some leftover MDF from some other project and I'm using that to make up my partitions. I need to make something to screw the partition into, so I'm ripping down a little spacer piece and adding some scrap wood. So I'm screwing in the scrap wood here to give me something to attach the partition to. Here I'm doing the same thing with the second partition. Ripping down some Luan plywood to make all of the trim. The trim strips are an inch and three quarter wide and I'm putting them in with three quarter inch nails. I'm using a sanding sponge to sand on all of the trim, get all the rough edges off of there. Now I'm caulking the partition to the ceiling to hold it in place. And now a bead of caulk around all of the trim. I'm 
I'm using some of the extra caulking to fill in the nail holes as well.
not sure if you can see but the detail because it's such a dark blue but if you can see the trim work it looks really good I really like how it turned out it just gives it a finished more trim decorated look we kept these up here as cubbies on this side we needed airflow for the uh, refrigerator so the motor wouldn't burn out too fast so we needed to keep that open not exactly how I would have liked to have decorated it but we needed storage and we tried to keep it as nice and neat as possible although we have very limited storage in our cottage which would have been great if we could have covered it but because of the venting we need for the refrigerator we needed to leave it open this side I left open as well because we just felt the more we thought about it this might look strange if we had a door here and not here and honestly to cut the expense too we thought well we might as well if we're already cutting out a door here we might as well leave this whole thing open and with the basket there I think that's fine it works for us but we love 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 the color and before it was white so we painted it and we worked on the storage to finish it off with the trim finish it up at the top and we really wanted to organize the pantry and it's a little bit cluttered still but we did our very best we did find some organization uh, materials at Dollar Tree we had gotten this for three dollars we had gotten two of these these were $1.25 each where we could put all our cans in. These were also $1.25 each, so we were able to have a few of these here and there. We had some mason jars on hand, and we did pick up some of the smaller ones, two of those, which were $1.25 each, so we could put our smaller items that we don't use as often. The color we used was navel. It was from Sherwin-Williams from Lowe's and it went on really beautifully nice and thick and basically it was two coats with a little bit of a touch above a third coat just because of what the paint was underneath before um, it's great we think it's going to have great wear and we love 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 the color we really wanted it to stand out from these other white cabinets we just wanted it to stand out a little bit and i would say it's doing that exact thing so a fun project this week. Yeah, it was. Um, it, it, a little bit of mishaps here and there along the way. There always is. It there keeps always it, is. Keeps it adventurous, I think, that way. It but does, but you know what? It, we always figure it out. We, we always make it work. Sometimes we it's do. a little frustrating. We're resourceful, so yes. we, we make it work. So one big mishap, I'm going to confess, I dropped the camera in the paint. Um, yeah. So I thought we were done for. <laughs> um, I thought that was it. And... I had a little fun moment there because I, I thought I broke the camera. So um, You spent about a half an hour cleaning and yes. whatnot. So not only was the paint, the camera covered in paint, but most of the kitchen, well, some of the kitchen was also yes. splattered with paint. But, yes. So that threw us yeah. off a little bit. So I'm clumsy, very clumsy, and I set the camera up perfectly. I thought, I was like, wow, it's really in frame, everything's great. And then I walk away from it, and the tripod, the okay. legs go out like this, and I misjudged it. I wasn't looking down where my feet were, and the tripod went down. And right boop. into the, tray, the roller tray of paint. Yeah. So we got it cleaned up. Everything is okay. So that threw us off. That was fun. Fun stuff. But, mm, and I'm a very patient and wonderful husband and son, so they were very kind about it. But Unfortunately, the camera wasn't rolling, because it would have made some cool footage. <laughs> <laughs> and then covered in paint. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I'm really no, glad it wasn't. But <laughs> thankfully, it's okay. So anyway, we're on that camera right now, so I'm assuming it's okay. It seems to be working. Um, yes. So <laughs> that was our one of our mishaps um, the last couple of days. But the project was all in all. A, all in all. A day and a half, about. About that. Yeah. About that. Kitchen was a big mess during that time because cabinets were emptied <sighs> and tools were every, way everywhere. But we're really happy with how it came out. It's kind of like a nice accent piece to the kitchen. Is that what you call it? Yeah. Accent something. It looks really nice. You, you picked out a great color. Well, yeah, it's functional. So it's not really um, just for show. I mean, it's functional. Right. But it's, um, as you know, we, we did a kind of a... Um, a built-in. A built, thank you. A built-in cabinet system for around our uh, refrigerator. Right. And it was kind of 
for a long time it was just like a cabinet that my mother had given to us that we pulled up against it. It's a tall uh, pantry cabinet kind of thing. Yes, and we thought, what if we make it look like it's all <laughs> built by adding a wall? And we never had one side finished. So we had to finish that wall and we wanted to do maybe doors at the top. But as we thought about it, we realized we need a venting us area for our um, for the fridge for yeah. the fridge so the yeah, motor we, didn't burn out. We have a little like a chimney behind the fridge for it to come out. So the yeah the cabinet above the fridge has to be open. So yeah, so we couldn't um, have doors on our like a cabinet like upper cabinets. We couldn't do that. Um, above the upper so this would have been another level of that and it would have looked great we would have loved it but we couldn't do that and then to have it on one side we were thinking about the cost and we were thinking about time and then also would it look silly with just one side and then open maybe maybe not but we we opted to just keep it all open yeah so i'm happy with it yeah. um and what it's a little more maybe thrown together with items that I would have liked. I would have maybe liked that as a decorative thing on the top, but because we're limited for space, I had to utilize that space. So we try to keep it as neat as possible. Small cottage, so we use every right. storage space we can. So yeah. Exactly, nice. and also uh, the pantry was just chaos. So we have it less chaotic, but it's not perfectly organized how I would have liked it. Um, there's, it was. Yes, it was. there's only so much space yeah. you have and it's more of a controlled chaos now. So we did get some more items. We spent about $22 at Dollar Tree and I had gotten some of these um, plasticky baskets mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. little mini totes, plastic totes, and we had us open, no yeah. lids, but, and then we had um, these bins that we could put cans in and just oh, organize the, that. The cans roll forward? Yes. Yeah, that, those are nice. It is. and. I've been wanting that for a long time. So that organized that instead of having them just all stacked up. Some things we had to keep just line up because that's the space we were provided. And we have like these oddball jars. Some are large, some are thin. Some we had to leave in original packaging, even though I didn't want to, but because of the space, it was easier to kind of squeeze in bags of things than all jars. So because of the space, we had to kind of do how we had it. So it's more of a controlled chaos. Um, it's not exactly itemized on the shelves that I would have liked. Oh, okay, this is our snack cabinet. This is because of all the space that we had. So we kind of had to make it work, and we're probably going to have to relearn where everything is. However, it yeah. looks so much neater, it and it's much more organized than it used to be. Yeah. So, yeah. And as for the appearance, appearance of it, um, Tina picked out a great uh, paint color, Naval by Sherwin Williams. Um, really beautiful color. Um, that was our biggest expense. We went for the top of the line, the showcase line of the Sherwin Williams, because it stands up to the high traffic. And I think it was well money well spent. That was like fifty two dollars with tax. I think so too. And paint um, is not what it used to be, folks. The prices, even the top of the line, never used to be that expensive. Right. But well but worth it. Well worth it, we think. Yeah. Um, uh, for all the trim work, I use Luan plywood, which if you've seen our other videos, I use that quite a lot. It's very versatile, it's very inexpensive. Um, I ripped it down to uh, inch and three quarter strips and used that for all the trim work. It worked out really well. Um, we had to buy some caulking and uh, I needed some nails for my nail gun. I needed some short nails so I could nail the trim in. But that was our biggest expense. I think that plus the Dollar Tree organization was around $87. Yeah, so like well under $100 yeah. um, and it was <clears throat> Definitely a, a great project. And again, because we had a lot of the materials on hand. Right. And if we had added doors, it would have been a little more expensive. Um, but I, I really am happy with the way it came out. And it looks so much nicer now. One of the things in the future I would like to do is maybe organize our freezer a little bit. They didn't have quite the items that I would have liked mm -hmm. at the Dollar Tree. So my eyes are going to be watching out for that to organize it a little more there. However, it... It's so all put together a little bit better yeah, and great. yeah so we're, we're kind of going back to what we originally when we first started this channel a couple of years ago um, we had actually in a couple of weeks it'll be two years so it's right. exciting it's coming up, yeah. but when we yeah so happy anniversary, happy anniversary. so when we did that um, we had this idea for channel we really wanted to do like a wall at a time a room at a time one section of a room at a time because we are getting older and also we always like to keep things on budget and because of that um, we and also we have a tendency to get 
so out of focus so we can focus more on one wall at a time right. and it really is a lot easier on the purse so for us um, we kind of went back to that and for this kitchen this whole kitchen we're going to be kind of sectioning sectioning it off um, to right. uh, maybe take go it's gonna in the end it's gonna have a broader picture of what it all looks like so we will have kind of a drawing and an idea of what we want but little by little we're kind of um, taking over each little section right. and redoing it. And some of the things we had done over for a while is kind of like a, a quick uh, redo is now going mm -hmm. to get a more permanent redo right. as time goes on yeah. um, with each section at a time. So hopefully you enjoy that. Um, some videos may not be to your liking because they might seem like, oh, they're just doing the counters. Um, we're very excited, and we definitely, at the end of all this, when it's all done, it's probably going to take quite a few months, uh, could right. be up to six months or so, um, because we have to also stop certain weeks and go on to the garden or oh, yeah. go on to other rooms. A lot and of time outside coming up. For sure, and problems. also expense. Um, yeah. we're, we're not like getting a home equity loan, or <laughs> we're not preparing for this um, as a big amount all at once. Yeah. We're kind of doing it a little at a time because that's how we get things done and it's affordable and easier for us yeah. that way. So because of that, it may take a while. It could even take a year or so, but when it's all done, we will absolutely show you um, the whole thing when it's all done. But we will do it through a year or so, who knows, a certain on amount of time. Because we've got other projects going on. We do. And I'm really excited about the outdoor projects. That's more of my uh, forte. So a lot of gardening and yard yard improvements, so excited about that. Um, but this project was great. Um, we did it actually mostly on a rainy day, so a lot of that worked out really well. It, it worked out, although Mother Nature was very kind to us. She rained at yeah. just the right moment. Yes. When we were trying to cut outside, it was <clears throat> clear and it was perfect. Yeah. So anyway, um, so that being said, we are done for this week. We hope you like the video. Please give us a thumbs up if yeah. you like the video that you see today. And feel free to watch any of our older videos if you haven't yet or you just want to rewatch for some right. ideas. We're very, very grateful for you tuning in. And for all of you who have already subscribed, thank you for being very here much. and for all of your support. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. We'd yeah. love to have you as part of this. It really helps support our channel. We thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Now, if you'd like to see how we built that built in, uh, check out this video we've linked. And also, we've included a, um, a pull-out organizer behind that as a separate video. Yes. And those are really great, uh, informative videos if you want to check those out. And we'll see you next week. We'll see you next week.